G'day guys, um, I wanted to just run you over the type of archery that I do. I, I've got another channel uh, called The Archer's Aim, which has got 90 plus videos of archery and target shooting and hunting and a whole lot of other stuff, but I really wanted to talk today about why I changed back to, tra to traditional archery. So I have been shooting compound bows for the last three and a half, four years, somewhere around there, uh, and it was great fun. I've done a huge amount of things with it, like competed at national events. I've uh, broken into the 290 plus region of scores um, on a feed around, which probably doesn't make a lot of sense to anyone, but they're very high, almost perfect scores. So um, I, I started shooting them, went to New Zealand and bow hunted, and we got a lot of game animals uh, on the ground, which was awesome. Uh, and look, we've, uh, I've spent a lot of time just chasing the absolute perfection of archery um, and I, I didn't quite get as high as what I'd like to have but I'd had enough by the stage, by the time I got to where I was I just had enough um, of the wheels of the compound bow shooting uh, and the style of hunting and whatnot. It's almost like a rifle, you can step out to 60 metres and still take shots on game animals and you know I, I just gave up. Basically, I, I was a bit over it and a bit unpassionate about it, and I decided to switch back to traditional archery after a young bloke bought a um, one of the bows that I'm about to show you up to the range, and I got to have a few shots with it, and it was fantastic. It's a Korean horse bow, uh, so it's very short. Uh, it, it's super flexible, so it starts off looking like a letter C, and then you string the bow up on this side of the C and the limbs flex all the way back so they, they come right back and that and it just it basically does 90 degree flip so it goes from this side the limb pointing this side back to that side once it's strong and at full draw um, and this is it this is the um the little bow so it's absolutely titsy for that it weighs only around 300 grams <laughs> so it's very light but it pulls 40 pounds of draw weight um and it's a grouse little fun bow uh to shoot and i'm just getting back into instinctive archery so that's why i got the glove on uh, which is just staring at what you want to hit and shooting at it and hitting it. It's like throwing a rock. So you don't think about, you don't aim when you throw a rock, you just throw it and it will go somewhere near you what you intended to hit. And that's the same principle using one of these bows. I'm also using these arrows. These are, they look like wood. <laughs> Check this out. They look like wood, but it's actually made from carbon fiber uh, by a company called Carbon Express. Um, and these are, well, I'll flip it around so you can read it. Carbon Express Heritage Series. Uh, Got nice shield cut feathers on the end of them, black and white, because I like to keep it simple. Um, and I'm just going to do a bit of training today. Uh, really close, about eight meters, eight meters shooting, um, just for a bit of fun. And yeah, that, that's really it. I, I just like traditional archery. Again, it, it's so much more captivating to me now than what compound bows uh, were there at the end. And I'm I'm looking forward to taking this bow on some backpack hunts. Uh, so getting my kit and just hiking up into the bush, you know, 10 k's in and going and looking for rabbits and foxes and maybe, maybe a deer if I'm lucky. Um, yeah, all right. Better get s some sort of shooting done, hey, so you can at least see this thing work. <laughs> There's always bloody one arrow. Look, nice tight group. We got one, two, three, four, five arrows just there, there. And then this guy out here doing whatever he wants. I, you gotta hate that. There's <laughs> always. Come on. Grizzly wants to say hello. Hello, internet. Oh, <laughs> don't get dog boogers on me camera lens, come on. Too bad I didn't help with a shot though. That's terrible. Stay there.
I missed him. I pulled an all right group. They're all a little bit slightly to the left of where we were aiming. But that's not a bad group. That's about, oh, just slightly larger than a tennis ball. I mean, that. What was that? Oh, well, you get that. Well, and you've had an introduction to Grizzly's nose. We're going to do a little bit of an expose on the life of Grizzly in the near future. Because, you know, he's got some pretty interesting things. And why not share him with the internet and the world? Well, thanks for watching, guys. See ya.